So video analytics at the edge is something that can be tricky in terms of setup. Live video analytics module for IT Edge makes it super simple. And we have Milan Gata from the Azure Media Services team on the IoT show today to show us how that works. Hi everyone, this is the Internet of Things show and I'm Olivier, your host. And today I'm joined by Milan Gara from the Azure Media Services team. Milan, thanks for joining us today on the show. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. So today, and there's a title just below here, we're going to talk about live video analytics on Azure IT Edge. Before we jump into that, what is live video analytics? So Live Video Analytics is an IoT Edge module which enables you to build video analytics capabilities in your IoT solutions. As you can see in this diagram, um, it can capture video from your existing cameras, analyze that video with your own custom video AI, and then you, you can use your own business logic to further rationalize those results with other data sources that you have. And then you can choose where you want to publish the output of all this, whether you want to take it to appropriate Azure services or leave it on the Edge device itself. You can continue to use your existing video management systems while you are doing all this. So all in all, it enables you to basically bring more intelligent video analytics applications uh, in your existing business operations. I see, yeah, because we've been talking a lot about, you know, Vision AI on, on the edge, and, and we've been demonstrating some of these, you know, DIY types of modules on IT Edge, and, and they're always a bit complicated to put together, and then you have one thing that happens in these ones. So uh, we'll talk about the principles of, you know, what's around uh, live video analytics and how you guys are helping developers. Uh, so. You know, you showed a high-level uh, architecture diagram. Can we dive into the concepts a bit more um, and, and, and see how developers will take advantage of uh, LVA on, uh, on the IT edge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's dive into this. So the main concept in live video analytics that enables you to do all this is what we call a media graph. A media graph is basically a graph that you specify in JSON to us, um, and it contains source processors and sync nodes. So this is a representation diagram of a media graph. Uh, once you give the media graph definition to the IoT Edge module, uh, it runs it, and it generates the output that are desired uh, by, by you. And it continues to operate 24-7, um, you don't have to worry about the internal details. Um, and so you get the robustness and reliability uh, without worrying about the internal details. I like that. And so I suppose there's going to be an interface for developers or a way for developers to work on that JSON file on these media graphs, right? Uh, yes, yes. And we will uh, look at that um, um, in, in more detail as, right. as I get into the demo. Let me walk you through a few media graph examples just to give you an idea of the power of such a concept. Yep. So this is a very simple media graph. Um, like, you know, think of it as the, as the most basic one that you can create. What you're seeing here is that the media graph has two things. It has a source and a sync. The source enables you to capture video from the camera and the sync enables you to record that video into Azure Media Services, which is an existing service uh, already available in Azure. Once the video is recorded, you can play back that video uh, live or on demand. What that means is that I want to watch what is happening now, or I want to watch what happened three hours ago. You'll be able to do that. And you can do that in the protocols of your choices, like HLS and Dash, which are well-known industry protocols. Um, so. As I said, this is the most basic graph, but as we look at a slightly more, uh, you know, involved complex graph, this is what it may look like. So what this graph is going to enable you to do is essentially bring your own custom AI and plug it in with the live video analytics pipeline. Um, what you're seeing here is that video is captured by the RTSP source node, then certain frames are sampled from that source, which is the frame rate filter processor. 
And then those are then sent to your own custom AI module uh, via the graph extension processor. And you can then analyze those frames uh, per the logic you want to, and then return results back to uh, the LVA module. And then those are timestamped and sent out via the IoT Hub Sync. Now, while all this is happening, we are also continuing to record video. So at the end, you see two outputs. You see the video and you see the events as well. Um, and while I'm at it, let me just talk through one more example graph. Uh, so what you're seeing here is essentially a graph which enables you to capture video only when an activity is detected by the motion detector, detector process. So you have cameras pointed at a location where nothing is happening most of the time, but occasionally something interesting happens and that's all you are interested in. So this kind of a graph enables you to basically focus on those relevant portions of the video. So uh, I guess we want to see all of that in action and understand how LVA works as a, as a module, especially I'm curious about how it works with these other modules like AI wise. Uh, so let's jump into the demo. You have a diagram that shows us, you know, what you're going to implement. Yeah, yeah. So let me walk you through the demo setup. So um, let me take you step by step. So what you're seeing here is, first of all, on the left hand side, there is a video source. There's an Edge device, which is the middle big box. And then there are two Azure services, Azure Media Services and Azure IoT Hub. So I'm going to use a Linux VM as the Edge device. And on that Edge device, we are going to push a video stream using a RTSP simulator instead of a real camera. Um, it's just to make sure that the demo shows the expected results. And then we are going to deploy live video analytics module on it with this graph. So in this graph, what we are doing is we are capturing the video, we are sampling frames, and then we are using the graph extension to send those videos to an AI module, which I'll show in a moment. And then, of course, those events are you know, coming back and via the IoT Hub Sync, they are making it to Edge Hub from where they go to uh, Azure IoT Hub. And we are also recording the video all the time uh, going to Azure Media Services. Um, there's a second module, which is the AI module I was referencing. Um, what I have done in that is I've used the open source YOLO model um, and built a IoT Edge module out of it. Uh, so when that module receives the frames from uh, the LVA module, it runs the object detection uh, model on it and returns the results back. Now, you are going to see a whole range of objects detected by the YOLO module, but say you are only interested in certain objects. For example, you are only interested when people are present uh, in that video. So to do that, there is yet another module, which we can think of it as the business logic module in this case. Um, so we're going to use IoT Hub routing to route the object detection events from Edge Hub to that module um, and look only for people. And when people are present, that's when we route the event back all the way to IoT Hub. So when you're looking on IoT Hub, you only see events when people are present. And then uh, we're going to play back that portion of the video to see that people are present. So that's, that's the demo setup. Um, so let's, let's get out of PowerPoint and kind of look at uh, the actual demo in action. So, so here we are in Visual Studio Code, uh, and I'm going to kind of uh, showcase all these uh, modules in action. So what you're seeing over here is uh, the Azure IoT Hub extension uh, showcasing that IoT Edge device with all the modules that are running on it. So LVA Edge is the live video analytics module. RTSP Sim is the RTSP simulator module. YOLO v3 is that AI module that I talked about, and object counter is that business logic module. Um, so all these together are going to achieve the goal that I covered in the previous uh, diagram. Now, uh, before I dive into the like showcasing the results of the demo, let's take a look at a couple of other things. So what you're seeing on the screen is the actual media graph uh, definition in JSON that I had mentioned earlier. Uh, so how is that graph defined exactly? So there is a 
section called parameters here, which defines some variables that are used in the definition of the graph. But the main part of the graph is over here. So as you can see, the sources section defines the RTSP source, um, and that's where the RTSP URL goes. The processor section defines the frame register, uh, frame rate filter processor, uh, along with the HTTP extension processor to send the frames over to the AI module. And then uh, the sync basically has the IoT hub sync and the asset sync where the video is being recorded. And we are going to use another feature of the Azure IoT Hub uh, extension in Visual Studio Code to see the output results. So all the messages that are being generated by the Edge device are routed to IoT Hub, and that's what you're seeing here. So as you can see, around 9.03 AM, we basically received an event which says media session established. So this is when the video capture process started, basically. And then a little later at 9.07 AM, we received a message which says that, OK, the object of interest was found, uh, and there was one instance of it. And this is the event time, which is this time is in UTC. That's the actual local time. So let's go and take a look at the video and see uh, if, if, you know, what do you see at 9.07, basically. So to see that, I have this uh, simple video player uh, that I built. And right now, it is playing whatever is being captured by media services, that asset that you saw in the, in the diagram. Um, so let's let, look, take a look at what happened at 9.07 AM today. So I can go here, and I can set the time. Let's start basically a minute before 9.07, and let's take a look at, you know, two minutes worth of uh, video from that. So at 9.08, and I hit play over here. So what you're seeing is, okay, video playback started at around uh, 9.06. There are no people present. All you can see is that there are cars on the freeway, but something happened at 9.07. So let's go and take a look at uh, exactly that moment. So you can see that there is actually a person present over here, uh, and that is what, uh, you know, the is, is being captured and recorded uh, in the event's output. Uh, and that timestamp matches to what you just saw in Visual Studio Code. Uh, yeah, that's pretty pretty powerful. I can imagine tons of uh, uh, IoT scenarios. It seems that at the end of the day, it's been about uh, JSON. The AI module is actually one that could be found. You, you used YOLO, but we have other ones on the marketplace and so on. It can be used. You basically compose with a, an aggregation of the uh, LVA you know, graph as well as the uh, IoT Edge uh, modules, right? Right. Right. I mean, it, it offers you the extensibility. You define the graph of your choice. You bring your own AI. You define your business logic. And all that together with the Azure services like IoT Hub, media services, help you build a solution like this with a few lines of code. It's pretty straightforward, actually, because we're always saying, hey, you know, view and AI should be as simple as possible for people who are not you know, like data scientist or whatever, it seems like LVA is definitely, or live video analytics is definitely like bringing it a, a step, you know, higher in simplicity. Uh, and, and really love that. Got to go and play with that. Uh, so, well, we that's a new product, right? So the, the module is actually available in the marketplace already? Yeah, it is available um, and you can start working with it immediately. Okay, well, thanks a lot, Milan, for that uh, interesting insights into LVA. Uh, if people are interested about it, they can go to aka.ms slash IoT show slash LVA on IoT Edge. Milan, that was a great demo, and I look forward to have some interactions here in the chats about LVA on IoT Edge. Everyone, don't forget to subscribe for the show. See you soon, Milan. Hope to see you soon on the show as well. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, everyone.